What do you say when I say we're having baked potatoes? Awesome. <laughs> this is one of your favourite meals. More, More ketchup, ketchup, please! I'm Dash. And how old are you? I'm 11. I'm Huck. And I'm 90. Do you know what we're going to be cooking today? Uh, jacket potatoes. Do you like them? Yeah. Is there a particular stuffing that you like in your potatoes? Mm, I just like them in general. Yeah? Uh, yes, yeah, same. Who is your mom? She is a cook. Yeah? And a cookbook writer. And what's her name? Hetty. Should she come join you in the kitchen now? Sure. Okay. Do you want me to be in the middle? I'm going to be in the middle. We're going to make some potatoes. I'm Hetty McKinnon and I'm a cookbook author and food writer. My newest book is called Family and it is um, full of comfort food with a bit of a healthier spin. With family, I just want people to kind of rediscover those important moments around the table and putting nourishing but really tasty food down is really important too. So all the recipes are vegetarian um, and there's substitutions recommended for if you're vegan. Um, but the food really was tested on all the kids. It is actually the book I now use, like when I come home from something from work or I don't know what I'm gonna make, I really actually get family out because most of the things are pantry ingredients, there's a lot of tinned legumes, um, and so it's like throwing a really tasty meal together quickly. Do you wanna prick them? You do that. You want me to do it? Okay. Gosh. Do you know why we prick them? Mm, um, what do you think? Them. So it'll be easy to get a hole in them? Or? You think? Do you think it will help it cook a bit faster? Yeah. So the heat can get in? Yeah, the heat can get into like a potato and not yeah. the skin. How many do you normally eat? One and a half. One and a half. How many do you normally eat? One. Dash always tries to um, get in the extra. Boys, do you, do you like to cook? Or do you prefer that mom does it? Oh yeah, I like the chop and stuff. I think from like a bowl. I don't really help that much. I just help in the table set. Yeah. Dash I, likes to help eat. Yeah, I well, I usually set the table. Mm -hmm. Someone can do oil, someone can do salt and pepper. Yep, and then you want to do some salt? Yeah. You're good at this. You can do salt, pepper. Okay, just sprinkle it all over. Is there any better dinner than just a baked potato? Oh, no. <laughs> no. But don't worry, we'll add some vegetables to make it good, make it better. Okay. Do you want to put it in the oven? Yes. Yeah, sure. I've been a vegetarian for over two decades, a long time. Um, and it was just a personal choice for me. So when I had the kids, I never once really considered raising them as vegetarian. Their first food was like Chinese congee with like chicken, like my mum would come and make them those types of foods and she, my mum loves meat, she's from a Chinese culture so um, meat's kind of very important to, to her and her family, kind of their heritage recipes. I feel like they're now older and they've got very developed palates and so I just thought you know I can probably like take the recipes that I cook and make them vegetarian but still kind of deliver like really interesting flavours because I always want the kids to be eating interesting flavours. When they were younger, they were like every other child, like didn't want to eat broccoli and all those types of things. But now they, um, I think it's the challenge is delivering the flavour into that broccoli. It's really revolutionised the way we eat at home and it's really empowered me because I, we can now eat together as a family. Well, the three kids aren't eating like sausages while I eat a salad. Like we can kind of have a salad together, but those salads are a bit heartier and have elements in there that I know the kids would like, like croutons. You like croutons? Yeah. How do they look? Good. They look good? What do you think? Awesome. Now we're going to fill them. What do you think that is? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Um. Tomato. Tomato. What's this? And pesto. Pesto. What's that? Leaves. Basil. Basil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Huck, why don't you cut up some tomatoes? 
Okay. But Dash, you need to um, mash these up a little in your okay. Do you want to do that? Okay. It's really hot though. Just put a bit of butter and let it melt in there. So you can just eat it like this or you can stuff it with something. All right. So the first one will be kind of like a caprese salad in a potato. So it'll be a, um, tomatoes, and then what's this? What are you putting in now? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Mm. The more the cheese, the better. And what's this? What are we putting on now? Pesto. Pesto. You can make your own pesto. Um, just push stuff up. Or buy a good, good quality store-bought one. So that caprese one needs to go back in the oven. You opened up the refrigerator, the pantry. What's what ingredient do you hope is in there? Um, bread. No, no, I mean apples. Oh yeah, and also spinach. Broccoli, broccoli, and tomato. But like not a small tomato, like a big tomato, like a <laughs> not cherry tomatoes. Yeah, not yeah. small ones. My essential ingredient I always want in the house is olive oil. <laughs> Olive oil is probably garlic. If I don't have those two things, I almost can't cook a meal. Dash, you want to do the kimchi one? Okay. This is a vegan kimchi, but you can use you can use pickles, whatever you have in your fridge. It's all about kind of using what you have. This is kind of like an idea, so you can go and customize it according to whatever you have. Like sometimes I'll put like black beans in there if I've got beans in my pantry. So what are you putting on now, Dash? Uh, grated cheese. Perfect. That can go in back in the oven. So I was around food a lot. My mum's an amazing Chinese cook. But I didn't cook a lot as a, as a kid. I taught myself to cook from cookbooks as a teenager. I became a vegetarian. And I used this series of cookbooks called Australian Women's Weekly, where I, dis where I discovered like Middle Eastern food and spices that my mum had never used. But then I really didn't start cooking again until I was in my 30s after I had the kids and I kind of discovered cookbooks and food became more important because it's, you know, you're nourishing your family with it. My mum's, she's Chinese and so I don't really like kids in the kitchen so this is, I didn't really start cooking till a few, like I always was interested in food but not really like this. My mum still says, oh, kids shouldn't really be in the kitchen because <laughs> they make a mess. So this is edamame. I'm going to fill this with edamame. Do you want some? And then this ginger scallion sauce, which is like my favourite. Okay. And this one's ready to go. Perfect. Ah, uh, dinner time. Um, so we always eat around the table. We actually, when they were little, we, we didn't used to, but now like dinner time is this, it's like a time to really reflect on our days. And we talk about what's going on at school and you know, what people did. We won't mention any names. And we talk about the food a lot. And you know, sometimes they tell me, you know, you can add more flavor to this or my daughter likes to add more lemons, like you need to add more lemon to everything. So meal time is um, a really special time, even if it's five minutes. I grew up in my family growing up, we ate really fast. Um, it was kind of fast and furious and a little bit competitive because we ate in the Cantonese way. But now also, you know, like we, I like to put food in the middle of the table and everyone can kind of help themselves, even if it's rice, because I find like when Food is served family style, like with food in the middle of the table. Um, people are more willing to try new things, like even if it's just a bite, you know, rather than just you, when you're presented with one dish, it's a lot of pressure. It's like, I have to get through everything on this, on this dish. So I just find eating family style is a much more communal and happy way. Since I, I discovered that, it's meal times have been a lot more harmonious. Alright. What do you think? Extra basil? Do you want to put that on? No, no, I'm fine. Oh, we'll put it here. <laughs> okay. No, no more. No more but no more green stuff. This is how I make these boys eat vegetarian food. Okay, which one do you wanna try? You wanna try all of them? Then you can tell me which one's your favourite. I've already know which is gonna be your favourite. <laughs> which is your favourite? 
Which one do you think is my favorite? That one. Yes. I just like to dig into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks hot. That looks really hot. Nice cheese bowl action. Oh, yeah. This um, scallion and ginger just reminds me of being a kid. It's my favorite sauce. We ate it with rice. Is this like the sauce that you put on the fish? Yeah, that's right. We have a Chinese, the whole steamed fish, and yes. this is the sauce that goes on it. Mmm. Mm. You like it too, right? Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>